Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Tonight News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be a Philadelphia Flyers versus Seattle cracking game preview. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe below or on the easy to use widget at the end of the video. So let's get right into it. Our Flyers, of course, after losing to the Vancouver Canucks the other night, take on the Seattle Kraken, who are 1 1 and 1 this far this season, and actually have played very fairly well for themselves early on, barely losing, of course, their inaugural game to the Vegas Golden Knights as they lost 4-3 to in that game. And then in their next game, they played the Nashville Predators, and that was when they were able to get their first win of the season. That's um, a team that has been playing a little bit better than some have expected for John Hines early on. And then in the third and final game, the last game the Kraken played, they went to OT with the Blue Jackets and then lost on a line A goal. So they have been playing really well. They have been playing very competitive early on. And they also, the big thing, they have three games under their belt. So they have more hockey under their belt, where, of course, our Flyers only have that one game that they played under their belt this far. That was some good and some bad, as I explained in my reaction video to that game. What, obviously, I did like that I saw in the first game, I hope, continues into this game, particularly because, unfortunately... I looked at the update, it says Risto skated this morning, but in the projections article and where it lists all the injuries, it said he would not be playing and Sealer will be still filling in. Patrick Brown is still on the COVID protocols and Zach McEwen, who we claimed, is still dealing with the visa issues coming down from Canada. So we still have Max Willman in the lineup and we still have Sealer in the lineup, who, by the way, did look better than Sandheim in the first game. So that's somebody you really want to step up and see more from. But as they do a great job of following them over there, Chris Mayer and Yori Vorlock on Don't Panic at Flyers Fan Mania 93 and also at Flyers Nitty Gritty. They do a great job there at keeping it positive. I think to take the positives from that game, obviously you want to have a sharper heart of Carter Hart in this game, but he built in the third period, then had a bad shootout again after having a good third and overtime. So you want to see where that puts him tonight. The big thing I took from the first game, though, was all the new guys that were actually active. Obviously, we didn't have Risto yet and we didn't have the waiver claim. But all the new guys that were active, Yondel was able to get two assists, one on the other newcomer, Atkinson's goal, and the other on TK's goal. Broussard obviously should not be playing all the way up on the second line consistently, but I didn't think, some people are saying he like didn't fill in that well. I thought he did all right for the first game. You have to get integrated, obviously. He's a guy you want more as your 3C or 4C, but more as your 3C, honestly, when it comes to his playing style. And he now has to play 2C just because of Hayes' injury. And the other reason why I'm not too worried about our team after just one game, I mean, it's only one game, um, is because we don't even have the lineup in. We don't have Rasmus Ristolainen, who's one of the toughest defensemen to play against in hockey. Yes, obviously, I know his numbers have to improve this year for fans that have been saying that, that are not as confident about his game turning around here as I am. But he's a guy that's going to add great physicality, and nobody's going to want to obviously stand up to certain guys when he's on the ice, which is what McEwen's going to do when he comes in. He already has 23 fights and 50-some games. So I do like those acquisitions. But when it comes to tonight's game, I think you just want to keep building on TK looked solid getting his goal after having an offseason last year. Fairby potted a goal after having a great season last year. The new guys looked very good. Yondo actually looked good in that game. Very good, honestly, being able to set up two goals. And then Cam Atkinson was flying around. So you want to build on the new guys, obviously, having success from the first game. Hopefully that carries into the second game here against the Seattle Kraken. And obviously you want to build on Carter Hart's third period and overtime. Not too good in the shootout, but try to build on that. Look at that, learn from the mistakes earlier on, and then the Flyers will be set and in a pretty good spot for this game. My only thing with this game is going to be interesting to follow. The Kraken obviously should have a little bit more tired legs, having to travel for different away games this far, but they also have played and have had more hockey under their belt, so it's going to be interesting who is more sharp in this game, because you would probably give that favor to the Kraken, but the Flyers, if they play aggressive like they did early on last game and keep pushing that ante, it sounds like a broken record from last year, but don't have that kind of faltering second period and then pick it back up. If you keep pushing that ante in this game, the Kraken should tire out a lot more than you because they obviously have already played three games and have just played on Saturday and then, of course, had to travel after traveling from um cut Arizona to Columbus prior to that for their game in Columbus so they've been doing a lot of traveling in the early 
um, portion, portion of their team existing. So we'll see if that affects them at all. But the Flyers just have to play, obviously, a full 60. It sounds like a broken record from last year, but they don't have their full lineup. And Max Willman, of course, like A.V. said, took a very bad penalty in that game. You want to see the youngster bounce back and play a more disciplined game tonight. But I think the keys for this game is they pressured early. They had more shots early. Then at the end of the game, once we pulled the goalie, and really in the last few minutes, the Flyers were starting to create more chances and pressured early, or, or late, excuse me, in that game as well. So if they could play a more complete game, obviously you're never going to play a squeaky clean full 60. You usually have five minutes or so in a game. You're not playing as sharp. But if you play a solid overall complete game, Unlike the last game, the Flyers could easily win this game against the Kraken because they almost came out with a win against a good Canucks team, of course, last game when they also did not play that sharp, obviously, in the middle. So I think this game is all about you only played one game. The Kraken have played three. Keep pressuring them. They should be able to have more tired legs than you at this point, and you should be able to take advantage of that. When it comes to the projected lineups, Cole Lind is going to be in tonight for the Kraken. He will make his Kraken debut, replacing Barry Boulay. And Vince Dunn, one of the defensemen, practice, but it says he will be out for a second consecutive game, as will Rasmus Ristulainen, where Sealer was recalled. And then Hayes also took part in the morning skate in positive news. It was his first practice since the abdominal surgery. He's obviously still on the IR, meaning he's out for at least the first 10 games, but that's very positive news moving forward. But for the Flyers, you're going to have Yandel and Sealer still. Sandheim and Braun, again, see a bounce-back game from Sandheim. That would be huge today. Provorov and Ellis, obviously we also want to see a bounce-back game from our uh, special teams as well in this game as well. And then also when it comes to the forward lines, you have Max Woolman, Nate Thompson, and Albay Kubel as the fourth line. Lindblom, Lawton, and Van Riemsdyk as the third. Joel Fairby, Broussard, and Atkinson as the second. And then Drew Couturier and Travis Konechny as the first line. When it comes for the Kraken, it says uh, the projected is Philip Grubauer starting with Hayden Fleury, Luzon as the third defensive pairing, Alexiak and Larson as the second, Giordano and Susi as the first. You have former Devils prospect Nathan Bastion on the fourth line, Riley Sheehan at center, and then Mason Appleton at the right wing there on that fourth line, Ryan Donato, Morgan Geeky, and Brandon Tanev as the third line, and then Cole Lind up on the second line for them with Alex Wenberg and Jonas Donskoy. So you have Hackstall giving the youngster a chance up there on the second line, filling in for Barry Boulay, who is scratched, and then Jaden Schwartz, Jared McCann, and Jordan Everly as the first line. So that is the matchups for tonight's game. Obviously, this team, when you look at them, they do have the guys like the Everleys of the world, the Donskoys of the world, and the Donatos that fly, so you have to try to keep up with their speed. The Flyers did a better job of that early on against the Vancouver Canucks than I thought we would have done with their speed. So if they can keep that up, really just establish that play more consistently throughout the game, the Flyers should easily be able to walk away with a W against this very competitive and very solid Kraken team early on in their existence. It's all about just being consistent and showing the great same play throughout the game and not just for bits and pieces of the game. But I'm still overall very positive about this team. I like some stuff I saw in that first game. It's game one. I'm never going to react bad to any of the huge negatives in game one because you just have to re you just have to adjust from them and you have a little bit to adjust and you have to adjust to the new players coming in so I didn't expect everything to just start amazingly it would have been great if it did but normally you have to adjust in the regular season to new guys coming in and new faces and we don't even have everyone back yet but again play the game play consistent play aggressive like the Flyers did early on in that game against Vancouver and you're going to tire this Kraken team out because they play three games and you've only played one this far. Peace out, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed the game preview. Subscribe down below if you did or up above to keep the channel going and growing. Let's go, Flyers. Let's bring that bring it to broad energy to the Kraken tonight and get a W. Peace.